the if you didn't quite work that out what are you doing in my store well I'm afraid that our normal tech guy is away on very important tech store business well I in fact am here to make sure the operation and running of this store is smooth and efficient. What can I do for you today? One second, please. your sort of caliber here thank you very much just I, I really don't care how good your keyboards are we don't sell from let's say people dressed like that you could have at least gone to the suit store or gone to our local barber shop and made yourself look presentable like someone would want to purchase something from you as opposed to coming here in a very smart casual attire not acceptable I'm afraid Especially in textual. Well, I can guarantee that all of the items that uh, you want me to buy for this store, okay. Yeah, don't come close to this particular keyboard here. Yeah, I know that's one of your sales techniques, is to, why don't I try it for myself? Yes. I would opt to try it for myself. I would be very keen to try it for myself. And I would do that, but not for your sales techniques, but to humor you, to enlighten you and educate you in the ways of keyboards and professional keyboards versus probably the crap that you've bought. I don't care if they're RGB or not. We'll see if they're any good or not. And come anywhere close anywhere close to the keyboards the kind of keyboards we sell at this tech store this is luxurious first class keyboards for experienced gamers computers computer enthusiasts anyone like that anyone who likes to have a professional feel to their online work shall we say or whatever they're doing on their computers yeah well, I, I doubt that you are able to off that, but don't you worry, I will, I will humor you nonetheless. Okay, so perhaps you would like to just take a good look at this particular keyboard here. Get yourself very well versed with its method, its, its way, the way it sounds, its usage, the way each key clicks and operates. And then we shall compare it to your keyboards, supposed keyboards that uh, you bought in, which are really high tech, yeah, I'm sure they are, I'm sure they are, I just don't believe and then you will notice a true difference, okay, so perhaps I will type some things here for you
is what a professional keyboard sounds like. Notice the, the subtle movements, the sounds. This keyboard has been designed to feel like a, a traditional typewriter, which means every single particular key has a nice little bit of typewriter weight to it and has that very satisfying click in there. Now, if any of your keyboards come close to that, then I'll be sure to buy every single one. But I can personally guarantee, just by the look at you, that that shan't happen. And whatever you've bought for me to check is going to be absolute garbage. Okay, so I'm just going to have a little check that we Excellent. Well, let's put this aside. Okay, and just place your keyboards there for me. Don't come too close to the store. We don't wish you to be in touch and reach. just for the keyboard. Now I take it that you've taken the liberty to charge every single keyboard. If it's RGB, then I'm sure they will work perfectly fine. Excellent. Well then we should have a problem here, should we? Okay, we don't care so much about the box, but we will look at the keyboard and give it a little test and see if it's worth however uh, much you're bragging it up to be. Okay. say this is RGB. How unfortunate for you. Uh, so one major flag area there. Of course my intuitive sense has picked up these bad uh, vibes from you as soon as you walked in. And the proof is in the keyboard here. However we shall continue your little visit and just give it a little test and see how bad it truly is. Okay let's give it a little test.
Pontus in that keyboard and uh, you said it was RGB well it just says it on here okay so one would expect those uh, RGB capabilities here and you said it's all been fully charged okay but you could tend to tell with these sort of cheap rubbish keyboards that um, they don't really have any reliability to them whatsoever so you may think they're really first class and great but I could already tell by the really terrible quality and materials that's in this keyboard that this really is just a piece of crap that should not be sold but more so put in a black round thing but the keyboards here I understand that they've tried to be savvy with the placement and put the keys in a more sort of gaming function to make it easier for gaming however the white will encourage discoloration of the keys and over time would turn that sort of off yellow and the RGB may hide that if it even worked of course but this particular keyboard can't hide the fact that it really is just complete crap and probably will break within the first few moments of use which in fact I imagine it probably did because you know I wouldn't imagine I'm the first one to hold this and therefore it's broken already so this particular keyboard I'm afraid is one that one wouldn't be interested in so would you like me to put that in the bit for you or put back to your little part there oh of course yeah I'll put it back into your part there okay Do we have here tech colors okay and a very ingenious name there i'm sure and this is a very by the looks of it a very slim and sleek keyboard but not always good because therefore you could also run into the same issues you had there the sleeker and slimmer it is means that it's been harder to place all the all the technical should we say pieces in there and therefore be more susceptible to break in someone of, of your sort of uh, collection of keyboards I mean if this was something that would sell here in this store then a keyboard like that would of course be made with the finest materials and craftsmen as well the RGB lights are working and I notice as well that it's not uh, being packaged quickly so you couldn't even be bothered to do that so what kind of salesperson do you think you are? a very terrible one so button left in the on position okay but at least the RGB lights work and yet they turn off straight away so let's see if we can change that so that's as bright as it would go and we'll, we'll just leave it as that okay so it keeps turning itself on and off and uh, yeah we're already a flaw for this keyboard something i have noticed is that it does have quite a pleasant pleasing sound if you're looking for something which is a smooth ride as you type however this isn't as great uh, as you think it might be for some people because people like myself like the sound of a click it's very satisfying and we like the different sounds here at this keyboard tech store okay so let's give it a little try and humor this keyboard and uh, your collection a little bit further shall we okay
this, one of the things that I noticed immediately is the rubber key, t key tops where it is sort of textured rubber there. I notice it's a nice smooth feel, so you do get a little bit of a grip when you push down the buttons, which is quite nice. However, of course, this isn't a keyboard which we stock here um, because it would be working properly. Your particular keyboard, this is your type of keyboard which you would uh, try to sell to people and your target audience is people who like broken things and this is where the lights keep flickering on and off. It's an indication of another not so well functioning keyboard and therefore would not be suitable whatsoever for this store nor would I purchase any if you paid me to have any of them. I wouldn't want to ruin the reputation of our tech store you see. I like the idea of it, it's sleekness, it's nice, the RGB, it's pleasing for the eye, but I cannot help but feel like this would last for probably no more than a couple of hours of extreme usage, and that would be it. So would you like me to turn the on button off for you? Mon pleasure. Uh, can I put that with your pile there, or would you like me to put in that truck now? Okay. here the a jazz i see k620t bluetooth dual mode mechanical keyboard mechanical keyboard ah, so why didn't you show me this one at first well you set my expectations down very low to begin with perhaps this particular keyboard might save you a little bit okay so let's get this open so it's protected which is a good start of course and well packaged, there we go, let's place that back in there, and the white keyboard, which is very interesting, because here at our keyboard store we prefer to have something which is a little bit more retro there, so moment of truth, does your RGB lights actually work? Wow, well that is quite the surprise, okay we have grips on the back here and here, most surprising, this has been, looks like it's actually been uh, well made here. There's a bit of weight to it, which is good. We turned it on and it's actually worked. And it's in a retro white here as well, which we also like here at this store. So you have places to put things, which I like as well. So that's also been for to put your phone in here, pens or cards or something. Okay, we have button which I'm sure does something but uh, doesn't do anything for me okay so it's going to be a mystery to work out how to actually operate this thing though I'm sure it does have functionality on it so uh, if you'd like to let me know how I change the RGB lighting I beg your pardon you don't know <laughs> of course you don't you're only a salesperson selling these keyboards. Why would you know? Indeed. Okay, so we're going to give this a little bit of a test. So I'm already feeling a retro feel to this with a modern, modern flavor to it. So let's have a little type and listen to the keys and see if it's as satisfying as it's probably meant to be.
Well, I can notice that your expressions seem somewhat positive about this particular keyboard. Indeed, if it only weren't for how terrible this keyboard actually is. So to the untrained eye, this probably sounds, or it sounds like a, a professional keyboard with clicky sounds to mimic, say, a nice old style typewriter. Uh, but the problem is, with this particular keyboard is that when you actually press it it doesn't really end up with a click you, you get the impression of that particular key but then there's no end final result there it's just a bit of a lackluster disappointment of a key so it doesn't actually get to the point that you want it to when you are pressing on the key so therefore every single key even though it's heavy it's got RGB, it's got nice well thought out things like the back aesthetics and these sort of extra designs here. It's still a rubbish keyboard I'm afraid and sounds terrible. Keyboards are about the sound functionality and of course the presence of the keyboard. This unfortunately has zero. So would you like me to pop that in the bin for you? No? Okay. And I'm just going to check out that last one for you. I'll leave the battery on for you because you like that. your final one. Thank goodness. So this is KLIM. We seem to have quite a futuristic gaming keyboard here by the looks of it. And it's in a sort of still look. So probably some sort of modern game would be playing with that. Semi-mechanical. Interesting. Keyboard, Kim lighting, and it's wireless. So all your keyboards have been wireless. However, all of them seem to have a problem so far. So can we beat that that is the question and the one we want answered here okay as we take a close examination of your keyboard so let's just get that out there i'm just going to say almost well presented so let's place the so-called accessories back in there okay very very interesting keyboard we have here and I, I like the size, the size is good. Okay, the size feels good. It has a nice metallic feel to it. That's really good. You have different places to pop things and lean your phone in there, which is also good. And pens, cards or anything like that. Your card can fit in a slot there. Is that a slot? No, it's a light. Okay, the keys seem nice and thick. That's a very nice sound. That is more like it, what we're looking for here. Okay. I see. So, let's see if we can turn this on. Put back up there. Oh dear. And the first telltale sign of complete rubbish is this. A tiny on and off switch there, and apparently that was already on. Okay, so let us turn on the lights here. So one would assume that there's a light switch here, and the function key here. You do actually test your keyboards before you actually intend to sell them, don't you? You've got to be, in fact, the worst salesman that I've ever heard of. I'm afraid you really have come to the wrong area for this sort of thing. I don't know who you intend to actually buy all these terrible keyboards of yours, but really, this is almost insulting, purely wasting my time bringing these in. If I wasn't such an enthusiast of keyboards, I really wouldn't humor you so much, but I am very, very curious to hear how it actually sounds upon the full typing demo here. So. I'm just going to have a little test here, hope you don't mind.
very interesting, sir. You get the impression that the keys are going to sound very nice and have that real deep, old school, sort of weighted tone to it. However, if you're looking to relax on this keyboard, it seems like you just need to turn the volume up ever so slightly. And I'm afraid operating a keyboard, it's all about relaxation and feeling like it's it's making the right tune for you to operate it. And you need to, need to make that connection. I'm afraid no one would make a connection with this keyboard except people like you. People who don't have a clue about keyboards. Right, let me just explain to you here. Have a good listen. just as stated, complete and utter garbage. So let me place that here for you. Now I'm pretty sure I can place all these in the recycling bin for you and get all these recycled for you if that would be something you'd be interested in. Well the only reason I'd actually purchase any of these bits is probably for parts such as this to modify or, or something like that. In fact actually I wouldn't purchase any of it in fact, I wouldn't have any of it if you paid me to take any of these items. Apologies there. But uh, thank you so much for bringing them in. It was a pleasure to to use up some of my valuable time to, to go through these terrible keyboards of yours. And thank goodness there weren't actually anyone else in this store thinking that we actually sell keyboards such as this to customers because it really is quite a joke. Yeah. So thank you so much for taking the time to bring it in. Yeah, and uh, I really hope that you manage to uh, to probably get something else which is actually decent and not be be sold these particular items here. Who sold you these, by the way? Anyone in this local area? Of course not. Uh, makes perfect sense. Might I suggest that you don't sell those sorts of things in this area? Perhaps maybe just go and put on a suit or something like that. And then get some good keyboards and bring them in the game store. Good game, something like that. And then people might be interested. However, nobody is interested because, of course, we source our own items here. Okay, so like I said, our tech store normal chap is currently away. Who would say the same thing such as this, but in probably a more, shall we say, civilized manner? Something that you're more accustomed to. Clearly, you're not of the sort of caliber that I'm used to talking to around this particular area. So, thank you so much for seeing me. And there's the door over there. Please take your rubbish items with the R-Place here for you. Take care, too.